Do you ever feel like no matter how much you want to hurry up or do something, your brain just wants to move very slowly? But what does your poop have to do with that? Slow or impaired cognitive function is a classic symptom of brain fog, and it can make the simplest tasks feel like Olympian feats. You probably know that the sum of your health is part genetics your, or your DNA and one part lifestyle. But research shows now a third component of health that you need to know about. That's the human microbiome. So here's a short little summary of everything you need to know to understand your microbiome. Microbes, they're key element in digestion. Modern diets evolve faster than our bodies. Thankfully, gut microbes have evolved fast enough to help bridge the gap between your diet and your body. A healthy gut supports the immune system by starving and eliminating pathogens. Your gastrointestinal tract has its own nervous system called the enteric nervous system. And it can release a broad range of neurotransmitters including serotonin and dopamine, and it creates a bridge between emotions and stress levels. Scientists are beginning to view the gut as its own ecosystem because it's so insanely complex. Transplanting a normal mouse with an obese mouse, yes, a fecal transplant, can turn that normal mouse obese. Your microbes are affected by basic activities such as showering, using skincare products, and eating. When your gut lacks a healthy balance of microbes, that's called dysbiosis. And dysbiosis can lead to obesity or feeling down and chronic diseases such as diabetes and certain cancers. It could also lead to autoimmune disorders such as Crohn's, Hashimoto's, irritable bowel disease, and arthritis. Okay, so I can hear what you're thinking. Where does my poop come in, Kian? Well, a gut imbalance or dysbiosis can lead to brain fog. One way that an imbalanced gut can cause brain fog is something called leaky gut syndrome. You see, under normal circumstances, the lining of our intestines have something called tight junctions. Right? And that tight junction usually is a big barrier to keep toxins outside of our bloodstream. With dysbiosis, those tight junctions become very leaky and then toxins could come in. That could then produce lots of things that trigger inflammation and cause you to have brain fog. Another way that an imbalanced gut can trigger brain fog is when bacteria produce too much histamine. Histamine aids in alertness and learning, but if you have too many bacteria producing too much histamine, it has the opposite effect on your brain and hinders cognitive function, specifically this nerdy thing called H3 autoinhibitory receptors. Another way gut imbalance can lead to brain fog is when good bacteria that keep yeast levels in check drop too low. If your good bacteria levels are reduced by antibiotic use, excessive alcohol, too many refined carbs, or even some birth control pills, the yeast levels get too high. This impairs your body's ability to regulate healthy serotonin levels and yeast, or candida, produce neurotoxins which can cause brain fog. A very easy way to find out if your microbe is causing your brain fog and it only requires a small poop sample. This awesome test can be completed quickly and easily in the comfort of your own home. Stay tuned on my blog with Naveen Jain when we discuss Viome. Your body's natural state is health. Your small daily choices have a cumulative effect on your health. Take control one small habit to support your gut health today. Remember, you are your best medicine. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. Do you know somebody struggling with brain fog? If so, do them a favor and share this video with them. It might hold an answer they've been looking for. And again, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.